do solar panels and a green roof limit the plant selection for that roof? Um, you know what, they do and they don't. We always recommend sedums uh, for any type of solar green roof just because it's an extensive system. But because of the solar panels in place, depending on the layout, you can't choose anything that has a growth of, say, over 12 inches because in there you're going to have some shading of your panels. Uh, we also recommend not placing any plants directly below the panels because of the shading, so you could have some die-off from there. Um, but also, too, plants will get up and move with the wind, um, so if they do land under your panels, no need to change them from there. Give us some time. Alright. How many solar green roof systems are in the North American market today? Well, well, currently in the North American market, there's only about a handful. Um, obviously, this technology was more or, more or less perfected uh, in Europe, so some of those technologies are starting to make their way across the pond. Um, but some of the different uh, solar panel, solar green roof technologies involve an, an integrated system um, as well as a Basically a drainage plate with your sedum mats with some solar panels and the metal racking attached to the drainage plate or any components underneath the green roof. So essentially giving you a conventional solar array above a green roof. So that's your one type and the other type would be an integrated system where the green roof actually acts as the ballast for the solar system. Okay. Um, will the addition of solar panels hurt the drainage system at all? Um, you know, they will not. Uh, obviously what's what we recommend for any green roof, which, which um, increases the life of any green roof, is proper drainage. So going into when you install any green roof, we always recommend checking the drainage channels, checking the drains that you have there, uh, making sure whether you're choosing your drainage media or a drainage plate, everything is intact. Um, one technology that we have seen out there for solar green roofs involve the metal racking where it's actually drilled in directly to the drainage plate. Um, that is a technology that's at the forefront right now and we haven't seen any issues from there or reported any issues uh, from there. So as far as we see, the we, uh, solar panels do not compromise anything with the drainage uh, for solar green roofs. So how well does a combined solar green roof withstand wind? Mm. Well, wind's always a, uh, a hot topic. Um, that's one of our, our first questions that we get asked is obviously the wind testing that is done. Um, because you have the, the panels there and it's not the typical ballast uh, that you would see on a conventional array, so you always that, that question does arise. Um, there is currently not any testing that's being done in the U.S. Uh, in Europe, there has been some testing on different systems, and they've stood up to 100 mile an hour winds, which is pretty comparable over here to the U.S. Uh, most cities will recommend that if you do install a solar array, it's able to withstand 100 mile an hour winds. Uh, down in Florida, might be a, a little bit more. Uh, but as long as you have the proper ballast, whether it's coming from the green roof or from pavers or cinder blocks, however you do it, uh, it is proper that you have it tested before uh, it is implemented onto the market. Adding solar panels on top of a green roof will surely increase the weight of the rooftop. Could this be an issue? Um, you know, it, it can and it can't. Um, you know, when you get to a green roof, just to be able to have the weight to hold a green roof anyway, you kind of see some of the stronger um, structural capacities. If you're getting anywhere to 10 to 15, even 20, a green roof won't work. As you start getting into the lower 20s and mid 20s, that's where the green roof comes into play. Uh, solar panels add about an additional three to six pounds um, to that weight. So if you have an extensive system that's, say, called 18 to 22, you're now going to be ranging from 23 up to 30 pounds a square foot. So it doesn't add too much to it as, as, as with um, that math there. It's a simple, small fraction of the weight already for the green roof. So as long as you're finding the weight uh, that the building can hold for the green roof, more than likely you're pretty close to being able to uh, house solar panels as well. What's the typical warranty of a solar green roof? Mm, great question. Um, solar green roof can really be broken into two ways. Um, you still have your typical warranty for your green roof that will protect the membrane and all your green roof components, um, even the same warranty for the plants as well. The solar panels will be considered a separate entity. Uh, so far the projects that we've come across, we haven't had any owners that are asking to have both under one warranty. Um, the, solar, the solar panels will carry a typical manufacturer's warranty and that will be uh, a 25 year warranty. From years 1 through 10, they'll guarantee you 100% efficiency. So if your panels are only working at 95%, then they'll replace whatever many panels they need to to get you at 100%. Uh, from years 10 through 20, um, they guarantee you 90%. So same thing as that, they'll come out and replace it if you're under 90. And then from for the rest of your lifetime, years 20 to 25, they guarantee you 80%. Um, so you do have a full 25-year warranty from there. And again, 
uh, the efficiency goes in those stages from there. But uh, as far as with the green roof, you have your typical warranties there, and it's all kind of together as, uh, as two different warranties on one rooftop. Okay, great. Thank you, Ryan. Hey, no problem.